welcome back to my channel. Um, we are back in the reading area. Um, I just got home. Um, they had, I need to stop saying them so much. Okay, so this is the new reading area with the furniture. This is all the, this is a, um, some wine and some books and some more books and some more wine. Anyway, um, the light's good here. That's why I always film here. But, uh, my camera's not the greatest, but it's okay. But anyway, so what we're doing today is I just got home from Walmart and they had a lot of makeup and stuff on sale. So I kind of hid some of it because I didn't have any enough money with me. I hid some of it in a little bowl behind something in the clearance section and then I rushed home and I came back. I rushed home, grabbed some money, came back, hopped in my car, drove back. And um, I just want to share with you all what I got today. And I, get, I think the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, a lip product because I'm looking a little, uh, a little washed out right now. Let's see what we can do about that. I got some, some makeup items and some non-makeup items. So, let's see. How about... No, no, no. I said I wanted to look less washed out, not again. Uh, purple. How about... Oh, where is it? Hold on. This one. This one. This is... Uh... Can't, no, this is Wet n Wild. This is a Wet n Wild lipstick. Uh, this is the shade Strawberry Lingerie. And it's this really cool. I know it doesn't show up well on camera. It's this really cool um, orangey pink. Which I love orangey pink. It's the same color as the uh, Jefferson Starfish Watermelon Soda from several years ago. If any of y'all remember that, um, this is the lipstick. It's a little rough. I guess that's why it was on sale. But anyway, let's let's do this. Is this a sheer lipstick? In reality, uh, oh, that looks nice. Let's see. I'm gonna put the rest of it on in on the phone because good colors are better. This is not quite. This is <clears throat> I'll go ahead and give a mini review on this because I used it. Um, this is not quite the same color. Yeah, and it's kind of sheer. His is a little um, what do you call it? Deeper, more opaque. I guess this is a more sheer formula but anyway the f line I guess this is a mega last high shine brilliance anyway I like it um, it's opaque like I said or uh, no no it's not as opaque as the Jefferson starfish his is like creamier and more opaque this one's pretty opaque. It's just um, uh, shinier. But anyway, I got it for, I know you can't see that, but that says $1.37. I got this lipstick for $1.37. So, we're going to set that aside, and we're going to keep going. I'm not going to give uh, reviews on all the products, because we'd be here all day. Um, I want to break those up into their own videos. Um, but... 
I will just show you what I got. Um, this is a, I want to say share and see. <clears throat> Lips don't lie matte lipstick. Is that the brand? I'm really not sure. Speak no evil, don't lie loud. Sorrow, Sorrow, Speak No Evil. I'm really not sure what the brand name is, but um, it's uh, it's just like if Barbie had a berry shade, it's that kind of really really pink, but it's like a slightly deeper than than Barbie pink. So that's why it's like a berry, but it's like um, like I said, if Barbie. If Barbie had a berry shade. Oh, gosh. I just want to see what the actual color is. Again, not giving full review. Oh! That is going back. Okay. That's going back. This is a brown lipstick. Look at what color it's supposed to be. This is brown. Okay, well that's going back. Okay, I'll add that to the going back pile. Okay. So, one fail. Still not a review because I don't know like I don't know the formula I've never bought from that brand so I guess what we can take away from that is to um, like all the colors on here are the same pink how the heck would you have known that it was an ugly brown color all right well that's that's going back and I guess I'm not going to get from that brand again because, until they change their freaking packaging because that is just, that's just wrong. Um, I got an e.l.f. Uh, soothing aloe mist. I got, for 74 cents, not the e.l.f. mist, but this next thing, I got a um, L.A. Colors pencil eyeliner in my favorite color. I actually do like these eyeliners. I have one. I got this one because it's 74 cents and you can't beat that. I got a uh, Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer uh, in the shade I don't know. I don't know. Oh. 01A Creamy Nude. I would have a foundation with the with the numbers 01 and A, as in at the beginning, because I am pale. Um, this is a Uoma Oma. I don't, I don't know how you say that. Uh, by Sharon C. Serum. It was four bucks like vitamin C and hydrolonic acid and all that good stuff. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Glass Correct Primer Base in my shade. I didn't know primers really came in like your shade. I thought they were just like white and clear and they just kind of really clear. But learn something every day. Um, this is the Lottie London uh, Color Cloud Longwear Matte Liquid Eyeshadow. I need to wear this. Oh. That's kind of the color it is. It looks more gray, but it's like a purple gray. It's like a stone wash kind of purple gray color. <clears throat> but anyway, um, there's a liquid eyeshadow. I'm gonna have to. It says long wear, so anything long wear, 
means I'm going to have to wear it to work and then just see how it does. Because long wear, right? I mean, should hold up. Should hold up. Um, the NYX uh, Born to Glow. This one was under $5. This one was $3.70. Born to Glow uh, Naturally Radiant Foundation in the shade Porcelain. Yes, there you can kind of see the shade. The colors are a little washed out on my phone camera. I tried to pick up um, any uh, foundation that they had on sale, so that's why. Um, this is the Revlon uh, Light Buildable Coverage Foundation. I think it says Candid Glow Camera. Yeah, no. Candid Glow. Moisture Glow, Anti-Pollution, or whatever. Uh, found fondant Foundation in shade 240, Natural Beige. I know it says beige, but this one, I looked at it, and it actually is uh, my shade. So, <clears throat> nine and a half times out of ten. I cannot wear anything that says beige, but there's always that, like, 0.5 of products. <coughs> that are both beige and work for me in that like Venn diagram of things I require in foundation. Um, this is a Revolution. I didn't even know they sold Revolution at Walmart. I, makeup section at Walmart is starting to look more like, like an Ulta or something. They've got like all the drugstore brands at Walmart. Like it's kind of kind of amazing. Um, this is a Revolution Ghostin Red Swoon Lip Liner and Matte Liquid Lipstick Kit. This is a Revolution Lip Kit. Take that, Kylie. This is a dollar. Um, that better be red. Okay. Red, it's called Red Swoon, so I'm assuming it's red. Um, another Lottie London product. I should be more centered. Um, Lottie London Illuminating Coconut Primer for $2. I think I've been more into primer slightly, mainly because my tinted moisturizer that I have that I really like, the Urban Decay, um, it peels up on my face unless I use a primer, so I have started using primers and I know this one has coconut in it because I can I could smell it in the store unless that was like a candle or something that was nearby but um this I almost didn't get but I went ahead and got it anyway for review um this is the and this is limited edition but I don't know if that matters much in a setting spray moisturizer spray thing um oh spray moisturizer not necessarily setting spray okay <coughs> sorry um this is the limited edition hard candy uh spray moisturizer marilyn monroe um marilyn monroe spray moisturizer helps it helps to hydrate Plus moisturize with hyaluronic acid, vitamin B3, and glycerin. Not sure what glycerin does. I thought glycerin was some sort of emollient or if that's the right word. Uh, smoothening agent. Slippery. Uh, glycerin like make it more kind of syrupy, slippy kind of thing um i'm not a food scientist or because i thought i always see like glycerin stuff in food uh, but anyway this is a. I did try this at the store it's kind of milky but i'll save that for the full review um this is something i've been wanting to try and they had it on sale and i know this isn't going to be my shade but it'll still work i'll just look really really tasty this is the Oma by Sharon C. Ready for my close-up. Flawless. Uh, 
looks like it says flawless skin perfecting foundation uh, infused with oh watermelon okay watermelon extract apple starch and lentil fruit lentil's a fruit Uh, it says a medium to full coverage. Okay, I'm not going to go too deep into that, but I have been wanting to try the Oma by Sharon C foundation with the purple top. Oh, what else do we have? We got lots of goodies today. Lots and lots of goodies. Another Lottie Contour Cloud Longwear Matte Liquid Eyeshadow for two bucks. Um. This is a blue shade. This is like the elf mint hydration shade um, of blue. It's like baby blue in that liquid eye I channel. Yes. <clears throat> I got a Revlon. Revlon Color Stay Light Cover Foundation. I've been trying to get more into light lighter coverage foundation i need to uh, lighter coverage foundation um and skin tint slash tinted moisturizer all that as opposed to foundation so uh this says 12 hour so we'll see maybe i just need to move my camera there we go. Let's just, let's just move the camera. There we go. Okay. Sorry if I sound like crap. I'm still getting over some crud. It's mostly like right up in here now. All of this is gone. So I've still got it right up in here. Right up in the day quill zone. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. There's that. I spent a lot of money on makeup today. But. It was all on clearance. This is this was a dollar. This is a Wet n Wild. Um, gosh, Wet n Wild Mega Last lipstick. Oh, limited edition, huh? Teal to the Devil. Uh, it's like a teal blue. Oh, that is a pretty color. That is A, actually showing up the color that it is on camera, on my hand. So it's this kind of navy blue, but like with a slight, slight greenness to it. Anyway, um, that I'm kind of excited about because... I can always use a blue lipstick. Not that I wear it that often, but it's better than just straight blue. Um, I got this Hard Candy Rose Drench Toner Refresher Spray. It's got hyaluronic acid and a rose water. It says help hydrate and plump. So I'm wondering if this is um, like Hard Candy's answer to the NYX Plump Right Back. Which I haven't used, but I want to. But I just never wanted to pay for it. Because it's a little bit expensive. Anyway, what the heck? Get this stuff floating around in it. Oh. Okay, well. That's kind of gross. You see all that floating around? Yeah, there you go. That's kind of gross. This is going back. <coughs> Looks like I'm going to get some of my money back. Sweet. <coughs> I guess you got to watch your um, uh, products at Walmart. So, this is the uh, 360 Total Defense Complex. Um, 
Oh, this is, I'm sorry, I haven't eaten today, and I did truck, so my brain's a little, like, just not there, but I wanted to get this video filmed. Um, this is the Physician's Formula Natural Defense Concealer. It has a Venn diagram of RPF, RPF, PPF, uh, Broad Spectrum 30. If you know what that means, I'm sure those things are good. Um, Total Defense Complex, blah, 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 a bunch of... It's a, it's a concealer with... Um, oh, okay. RPF is BS. I think. I don't know. Uh, it's supposed to protect you from sun, from computer, and from going outside in the city. Uh, it's my shade. It's a concealer. I've been kind of into buying concealers lately. So, uh, we have another... We have a Lottie London um, Dewy Setting Spray. Man, gotta double check everything. This is Reading Tiny Text Me. But I'm not actually reading, I'm making sure there's nothing weird in there. Because, gotta check everything. Okay. Um. Okay. One more makeup thing and then, like, some body care. Why do I keep leaning over? Maybe. Well, there we go. Right. Um, this is the Lottie London Arch Rival Four Pronged Tip. Um, micro Blade Brow Thing. It says Mimic Natural Brow Hair. Uh, it's a brow pin. It's a micro, micro blade brow pin. But there's no actual blades, because that's, that's good. Um, yeah, micro blade cool. That's what the Walmart sticker says. Okay. That is that. <clears throat> and I have a few things that are not, um, specifically makeup, but they're still under the whole HBA health and body thing category. Um, I got an elf. No, not an elf. I'm sorry. I got something else with elf. But this is hard candy. I need to eat something. Okay, this is the hard candy X Marilyn Monroe. How can you collab with someone who's been dead for 50 years? Or however long. I don't know. How long has Marilyn Monroe been dead? I don't really want to know, but. Um, Hard Candy X, whoever owns the rights to Marilyn Monroe's estate, who apparently needs money. Um, Behind the Mask Lip Treatment, Hyaluronic Acid, A, C, and Vitamin A, C, and E. It's got your Ace Vitamins. Strawberry Extracto. This is just a little jar. I'm wondering why it's in a box. I'm just curious about this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ooh. Alright. Not gonna give away any spoilers. But. <laughs> there it is. I will save any further information for the full reveal. Lip treatment. What is this for? Okay, this is a moisture mask. 
I thought maybe this one went to the ground, but that's cool too. That's cool too. Never touch. All right. That is that. Um, what else? Uh, that's it for the makeup. I just have a few more things that are not makeup, but still like body care. So let me get those out really quick. <laughs> I got a Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. I love these. Um, they're like $3 cheaper at Walmart than they are at um, Ulta. I think they're about $10 at Ulta, unless they've gone up. This is um, Coconut Lime. I have one that I'm trying to use up, but I may just switch it out with this one because I'm kind of tired of the other one right now. It's pineapple. I like it. I just, I'm ready for something different, you know? So this is uh, Coconut Lime. I got it. I think it'll go, I've wanted this one. I didn't just buy it because it was on sale or anything like that. I have wanted this one. Uh, I thought it would go really well with my new Find Your Happy Place palm trees and pina coladas at some bath salts, which I wish we would get these in at work. Um, I love bath salts. That didn't sound right. I love uh, Epsom salt for the bath. Um, okay, this is the Find Your Happy Place uh, Mariah Carey limited edition uh, Winter Wonderland. Any of y'all that are part of the beauty sphere or watch a lot of beauty content are going to no, like, eh, limited edition, that means it sucks. Not necessarily. Um, this is probably the same quality Find Your Happy Place lotion. I don't buy a lot of Find Your Happy Place lotion, but trust me when I say I'm a lotion connoisseur. This is decent lotion. I bought some of this one day when I was shopping because I just, my hands were dry and I needed some lotion. So I grabbed this and it actually smells really nice. Well, it's got a little single on it, but trust me, it just, it does smell nice. And this is the, yeah, that does smell nice. Oh, this is the Mariah Carey one. Um, yeah, I got this e.l.f. Holy Hydration uh, Face Cream. I've been really into hydration stuff lately, especially since I just came back from Las Vegas. And I live in the South. And there's like two different air qualities between the South and Las Vegas. One is awesome, the other is really dry. So, Elf, I know it's backwards, it says Flair. This is the Flair uh, Holy Hydration Face Cream. Okay, um, that may be it. Uh, the only other couple of things I got, which they're pretty awesome, um, One's on sale, one wasn't. I found these um, $3 satin pillowcases. They're this really pretty light purple color. They are, um, I don't know if you can tell what color they're supposed to be. They're closer to what this is showing up as. Um, this is coming out a little bit more gray, but this is kind of close to the color it should be. It, just, it should be like a brighter. Brighter, really, really pretty lavender purple, light lavender purple. These are satin pillowcases. I'm sorry. I should probably tell you what the thing is before I gush about the color. Uh, like I said, I haven't had anything to eat today. Um, I'm running on, what am I running on? Water and coffee. I'm running on water and coffee. No wonder. Last thing I got. Calendar. Yes, calendar. Um, this uh, starts in July of 2022 and goes all the way through June of 2023. You might be thinking, Hart, why would you buy a calendar where you can only use half of it? Because it was a dollar fifty. 
It was a dollar fifty, and I needed a small desk calendar. Um, this lipstick actually looks really good. I wish you could see what it actually looks like instead of just what this camera is picking up. Uh, but this video is running on thirty minutes, so I guess uh, if that's everything, which that looks like it's everything. Yeah, that is everything. So, a lot of good products. Uh, better reviews are coming. Um, two things to return. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, leave a comment as to uh, if you liked or if you've bought any of these products before. And um, also leave a comment if, uh, like... How often you have to watch out for, like, stuff from Walmart that is on sale. Like, if you've bought something, gotten home, and gone, ew, it's got some stuff in it or whatever. Um, yeah, so just comment on those. And then also comment, uh, what is your favorite Find Your Happy Place scent? So anyway, guys, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to go eat something now. And I will see all of you later. Bye.